Hello, Internet. How many times have you decided, well, there's a cheap bench made on AliExpress. Maybe I'll buy that, and then I'll take it to a knife shop and ask him if it's real. You're stupid. <laughs> We're going to show you why. Today we do the Mini Freak. Let's get into that. 565-1, I should have mentioned. <laughs> <laughs> Man, these these are the most controversial videos we do too. Good. Oh my god, look at the coloration. Ooh, that's pretty close. That is pretty close. That is a notorious thing. So, and the box is in surprisingly good shape. The colors are surprisingly close. The bag is still off. You can tell the difference. The bag is definitely still off. Yeah. This is that sticky sheet bullshit. This is sticky sheets. <laughs> Get that sticky sheet bullshit out of here. All right. Not bad though. These. This was a difficult that one. Is remarkably uh, good job of faking. Uh, they even got the foam insert pretty close. Yeah, even the foam insert's pretty good. The last one was not. So, <coughs> here's the thing. If you are trying to buy a a mini freak in carbon fiber and are scared about getting scammed, this is going to be a hard one for you. So this one on the left here is real, although you probably can't tell by looking at it on camera. There are very few visual cues you're going to get from just looking at it. One of the biggest ones is going to be the backstop is a different color. On the fake, it's black, and on the, and on the real one, it is silver. Even the engraving, which is usually a dead giveaway for these knives, Actually, it looks better on the fake. It is impressive. It is very well done. And we're going to see in the B-roll that the a lot of parts are interchangeable between these knives. The backstops are interchangeable. The um, partial liners uh, that hold the pivot and everything are interchangeable. Now, I don't know if the pivots, like if you interchange the partial liners, you probably have to interchange the pivot, the blade, and the uh, access lock. So the whole assembly will most likely have to move. It's not a one for one trade parts kind of a situation. The um, carbon fiber weave on it's the reel on. is smaller. It's larger on the fake, which yep. was indicative of cheaper carbon fiber. Harbor color is a little different too. Yes. On the screws and the clip. But if you don't have a real one to compare it to, you're gonna have a real hard time. Now, unfortunately, the best advice we can give you is pivot. The pivots are quite different. This is a T10 versus a yeah. T8. And the thumb stud colors are ever so slightly off. Ever so this slightly is off. like that bright, obvious red that is just yeah. there. And, and you can tell the T. This is like it's the, the way it's machined at the very top. This is very small, slightly bigger. Yeah. So, but I'm hopefully, I mean, hopefully uh, you have a real one to compare it to. Because if you don't, these are going to be very hard things for you to pick out just on your own. I mean, pretty crazy. Whoops. Yeah. This one, this one was a, a this one was eye opening for this us. This is yeah. exceptionally yes. sneaky. Yes. I'll say exceptionally sneaky. And, and this, this is uh, this is after we did the readout one, and we did the readout one first, and the readout is super close. Yeah. And then you see this, and you're like, people are gonna get screwed on well, this so one. Not only the color, but like this is a more elegant swoop to this mm -hmm. split arrow. This is like a real aggressive yeah. look. And yeah. the, the relief cut is much yes. bigger on the fake than it is on the on. on but the, it is so close. Yeah, it is. This one is dangerous. Ooh. This one is very dangerous because this is a 200 and some odd dollar knife. 263 or 278 or Is it that much? It's a lot. It's a lot. And this big. is $56. Oh, that's lovely. $56. So, wow. I, there's not, unfortunately, there is not a lot to tell you in this video because uh, even when you take them apart, you'll see the B roll. Uh, even when you take them apart, it is getting really hard to tell. So, question of the hour How do you tell the difference? Well, in usability, <laughs> you tell by Rockwell. And Chinese knives don't generally rock well very well. So should we see what the numbers are? Let's do it. All right, let's see what the rock All well right. numbers are. Counterfeit, go. 
That's better than I've seen in the past. It 55, is 50, 55, 55, 55 is almost 55. So it's a 440C knife. Uh, it is. It is. It is a 440C knife from the 60s. Is basically what those Rockwell hmm. numbers talk it, it would be indicative of. Uh, unfortunately, it is close enough that even using it, you wouldn't notice how shitty it is, unless you have other good knives to sure. compare it to. Sure. But like S90 is such a phenomenal seal. Yeah. You that, should know if you're buying knife like this, you should. Know. That's that's six points low. Yeah. Whereas you know, uh, but if you're used, to, but if you're someone who carries 154 cm, Rock was at 58, 59, it's gonna be hard to notice a 55. You might be like, well, this S90 is not all it's cracked up to be. Well, if it's a shit S90 with a shit heat treat. That's that's this is this one worries me because there are gonna be quite a few people that are gonna get screwed by this. And even when they bring it in, you know, and say, if someone were to bring it into us and like sharpen this, you know. And a lot of times they'll be like, oh, well, I need a warranty. You know, we get that with Microtex a lot. Oh, I yeah. need to send this in for warranty or this, and that. And it's like, sorry, buddy, this is fake. Like, this is going to be a close one. Yeah. This is going to be a close one. It is exceedingly difficult Which to tell the difference. Which is sort of, like, fun because we'll have to keep an eye out for stuff like this in the future. Yeah. Someone brings in, especially since we do trades and we buy stuff. I mean, we'll have to, you know more fakes out there than the rest yeah. of us. So it'll be interesting to find out what comes through. Yeah. You have to have a pretty good uh, and pretty good attention to detail on very minute things to find this one. The pivot and the the pivot and the clip and the backstop Back yeah. are basically the only things that are going to allow you to tell the difference without taking it apart. And even when you do take it apart, not not an easy tell. Not an easy tell. Hmm. This is a dangerous fake. Well, this will be fun. Yeah. So maybe you're not quite so stupid if you get one off AliExpress. I want to know if it's fake. But if you're buying it, if you're right the one that ordered it, <laughs> if you're the one that ordered it, you're dumb. But if you bought it off somebody else on Facebook or off Craigslist, right? If you get swindled, you're not dumb. It's uh, genuinely yeah, hard it's to do. Fucking, cl I'm sitting here next to it. It's close. Yeah, probably one of the best ones I've seen. Uh, yeah, I would say out of all the out of all the ones we've done, this is probably the best fake I've ever seen in my life. Uh, second only to the Halo 5. The, the Halo 5 was so close, the fake and the real both weigh 185 grams. I have never seen anything that dead on in my life. It is amazing. What about the ZT? Fuzzy's two carbon fiber. That one was good, but if you have both of them, you can tell. Okay. But if you just have the fake, it's it's phenomenal. But the laser engraving is all off. Gotcha. They fixed this. The laser engraving is, I mean, even with the laser engraving, almost looks better on the pick. I mean, even... Uh, so is the lesson here, buy from verified sources. Yes. I think Authorized a lot of dealers. people think yeah. that they're like <laughs> internet savvy and they're like, oh no, I know how to finally get the good yeah. deal. You just gotta go to this special website and you get the same thing for less. Like, no, yeah. like they're like you outsmarting know, the world. So no, just go to verified so this is, sources and buy the real thing. This is $250. If you put this, I bought this for, what, $56 or some shit like that. If you put that on Amazon for two hundred and twenty-five dollars, you fucking it's probably gonna run sell in two them. seconds. Because yeah. everybody would be like, "Oh no, it's expensive enough. That's definitely not a fake." It's not the but that makes you a scammer, fake. though. And yeah, it does <laughs> totally. But you, I mean, you could you could sell uh, these on Amazon and undercut map pricing. And what's Benchmade gonna do about it? You're already selling fakes. What the fuck are they gonna do? Yeah. You know, I mean, you're already screwing people. But if, if you put that on Amazon for $225, people will be like, oh, man, I found one $40 cheaper on Amazon. Here's the link. Yeah. You know, and you'd be thinking, oh, man, I saved 40 bucks. No, you didn't. You paid $175 more than you should have. You just didn't have to wait to yeah. ship it from China. <clears throat> so don't support knockoffs and don't support scammers either. Well, Spyderco's Spider having a big problem with a lot of, well, I don't know if they still are. But at one point, they were having a big problem with the face being sold on Amazon. Mm -hmm. There's no verification on Amazon. Yeah. It's just people selling shit. Microtech, too. Yeah. I mean, uh, 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 knives on Amazon are, they're iffy. And with face getting this good, it's you're not going to be able to tell. Does that make it more important to buy from an authorized dealer? Yeah. I mean, we dealer? are. We are. So it makes like, I mean, I'm, being, I'm being a whore here. I know, like, but here's the us, problem. But, like, is because we are that, it, it sounds like we're just finding a reason to say, oh, only buy from authorized dealers. Like, I, I don't care if you buy from us or buy not. Buy from your local authorized dealer. Yeah, yeah, just yeah. Just buy yeah. from an yeah. authorized dealer. Go to, go to your local if, support local. I think the lesson is that if the deal seems too good to be true, then it obviously is. <laughs> well, you can go onto, like, Benchmade's or GT site, and you can see, like, who an authorized dealer in your area is. Exactly. Yeah. So just 
Go to a, get, people always say when you go to a bookstore, go to a locally owned bookstore. Go to a locally owned place that sells knives that is an authorized <laughs> benchmade dealer and get yourself a good knife. If you find something that you think is a steal online, it's because they're stealing from you. <laughs> yeah. Your local bookstore says Henry David Throat. <laughs> <laughs> That's not correct. <laughs> All right, and on that note, cool. Like, like, comment, subscribe. If you think of a fake that you think we should cover that we haven't thought of, or what else? Is there something else I'm supposed to be saying that I can't think of? Uh, if you have any weird loves. mechanisms or knives you want us to figure out, let us know. Yeah, if you notice something on the B-roll that we maybe didn't notice or forgot to cover, let us know. We'd like to hear about that too. Thanks a lot, guys. <laughs>